President Xiaomi came with a big round of applause. Also, let's give a warm welcome to our beloved President Tai. A smooth inauguration of President Lai Qingde unfolded earlier today, amid growing tensions across the Taiwan Strait and interest in Taiwan's semiconductor industry. As Taiwan engages more closely with the rest of the world, we welcome the world to come closer to Taiwan. Many new residents and foreign nationals have come and made Taiwan their home, writing a new chapter in Taiwan's story. To all of you, I give my sincere thanks and respect. The ceremony drew significant international attention with 51 delegations totaling 508 dignitaries celebrating the occasion. Distinguished guests included heads of state, vice presidents and foreign ministers from Taiwan's diplomatic allies. Here today are many friends who have come quite a long way from their countries to join us. And many overseas compatriots are also here, showing their support with their presence. So why don't we let them all know how much we appreciate their support? Please give them a round of applause. The Kingdom and Swatini sent the largest delegation, comprising 120 members. Also, the Holy See dispatched a special envoy, and Japan saw a record turnout of lawmakers and officials. Non-diplomatic partners like the U.S., Canada, Singapore, and the European Parliament Taiwan Friendship Group made notable appearances. Former U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo attended in a personal capacity, underscoring the global support for Taiwan's sovereignty. Yet, a significant challenge remains for President Lai. Managing relations with China, which could impact Taiwan's remaining diplomatic ties. This is Isabel Wan in Taipei for TVBS World Taiwan.